asks Dickon for help with the garden, which appears dead. Dickon explains that it is probably just dormant, and that somewhere there's a single streak of green inside it. Mary tells Colin about the discovered garden, but he is initially reluctant to go outside until encouraged by a vision of his mother. Mary, Dickon, and Martha secretly bring Colin to the garden in a wheelchair. In the garden, the exercise and fresh air begin to make Colin well. The dreamers sing the praises of the renewed garden. Now you tell me exactly what you saw. It's cold and gray. The trees are gray, the earth is gray, and there's this clean kind of haze over everything. Like a body we're in a dream. It's the most forgotten place I've ever seen. With loose gray branches looped all around the trees like ropes or snakes. And the dead roots and leaves all tangled up on the ground, so still and cold. No, but did you get a real close look at anything? Did you scrape away a little of the bark and get a real close look at anything? Mary, the strongest roses will learn to thrive on being neglected. If the soil is rich enough, they will run a while and spread and spread till they're alone. You mean it might be alive? But how can you tell? Oh, I can tell if the thing is wicked or not. Wait, I've, I've heard Ben say.
Thank you.